What is exposure? Let's consider a radioactive source, which emit the radiation. And, this is small volume in air. We know that when radiation interact with air molecule, due to the ionization process negatively charged electron, and positively charged ion, are created inside the volume of air. This process is called ionization. The term exposure refers to the radiation quantity measured in terms of ionization in air in a small volume around a point. It means if ionization is more inside the volume, that means charge created in this volume is more. It means exposure is more. It means radiation quantity is more. The unit of exposure is Ron Gen. And, it defined in term of both unit of charge. One Ron Gen shall be the quantity of X-ray or gamma radiation. That produce the ion. Carrying one ASU of charge. Of either sign. In per 0.001293 gram of air. If the air volume is 1 cc. Having mass. 0.001293 gram of air. And when radiation interact with this volume due to ionization, the charge produced inside the volume of air is equal to 1 ASU, which is equal to the 1 Ron Gen. In the same way, if the mass of air is 1 kg, and when radiation interact with this volume, due to ionization, the charge produced inside the volume of air, is equal to 2.58 into 10 power minus 4 coulomb, which is equal to the 1 Ron Gen. So in this way, we can define the Ron Gen in both unit of charge, ESU, and coulomb. These are important points about exposure. Exposure is a source-related term. Exposure from an X-ray source obeys inverse square law. It is not a unit of absorbed dose. It is defined only for X and gamma radiation in air. It can be used only up to a photon energy of 3 mega electron volt. Now we discuss about Kerma. Kerma stands for kinetic energy released in the medium which describes the initial interaction of the photon with an atom that take place in medium. When radiation interacts with matter. The uncharged particles, like photons and neutrons, transfer kinetic energy to the charged particles and it come out from its orbit. For example if the incident photon having initial energy E, and binding energy of orbital electron B, an ejected electron having kinetic energy K, here kinetic energy is equal to incident photon energy minus binding energy. Here initial kinetic energy of the ejected charge particle is equal to the amount of energy transfer from an uncharged particle. Let's consider a medium having 1 kg mass. And a radiate with uncharged particle like X-ray gamma ray. Incident radiation interact within medium and initially transfer some energy to the charged particle. And charged particle electron release with initial kinetic energy Ke. Kerma K is a measure of kinetic energy transferred to the charged particles. It is defined as sum of the initial kinetic energy of all charged ionizing particles, which is liberated by incident photons in a material of unit mass, is called as Kerma. The unit for Kerma is Joule per kilogram. The SI unit is gray. And special unit is rad. It quantifies the average amount of energy transferred in a small volume from the indirectly ionizing radiation to directly ionizing radiation without concerns to what happens after this transfer. The energy transferred to electrons by photons can be expended in two distinct ways. Through collision interactions. Through radiative interactions. The total kerma is therefore usually divided into two components. Collision kerma. And radiation kerma.